The Build Show is on the road today. We are in beautiful New England. It is a crisp fall day, but the winter will come. And this house behind me, a whole house remodel on a 1970s house, perfect candidate to go to radiant in-floor heating. Now my buddy Steve Basic is the architect on this project and he worked with Warmboard to design an impressive system. The entire house is basically getting several zones of warm floors that are going to radiate and heat these occupants from the floor on up. Today's build show, we're going to give you all the 411 on this system. Today's build show is sponsored by Warmboard. Let's get going. I feel like I'm channeling my inner this old house. Let's go check a look at this remodel. Now we're in the trim stage. There he is. Hey, Steve. What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Doing great, man. Give doing us great. the tour, man. Look at these beautiful ceilings. Welcome to Andover. Yeah, we got a lot of exciting stuff to, here to see, and I know you want to talk about warm board. We got some of the flooring going down, but on the back side of the house, we haven't gotten it all covered yet, so we can go back there and we can talk about the install and uh, so we've got uh, what are these floors going this in? These look five like inch white oak, true solid white it's oak. True right? solid white oak going right over the top. It gets glued and stapled down. Oh man, you got a ton of work going on here. Oh, and now we can see a little bit of what we're talking about See a little bit there. Today. That's the bathroom, Jack and Jill bathroom happening there. Okay. But I think in this back room here, he's actually installing the hardwood ah, floor. Very nice. So look at this. This is beautiful, man. I it. love a good white oak floor. Okay, so this down. is what we're talking about. This is the radiant heating for the house. And my assumption is these black tubes are going to have hot water flowing through them, right? They have, they have hot water going through. Now, Warmboard has two systems. They have their remodeling system, and then they have their structural subfloor system because and which one is this this is the r system this is the remodeling system because we had a structural subfloor okay so it's only uh it's it, just under three quarters and it has that router uh groove in there that these half inch lines just pop in we uh you can get those half inch lines i believe you can get them in rolls of 500 and a thousand feet but in this particular house we had a full design warm board is exceptional at uh, the, in the design and planning stage, we can look at some of their drawings, but they limit it to about 300 feet because at some point you can imagine when you charge these lines and you put the water through, well, they're losing heat. Mm -hmm. So at some point you've pretty much lost the amount of heat that's working in your favor and you have to go back and get resurged. Gotcha. So they limit those loops to 300 feet. They're a solid loop, there's no splicing. Everything is basically a home run that goes back to a manifold. Of to some a manifold. Sort. We'll go check that out because you won't believe the plumbers down there. They're, they're amazing craftsmen. And uh, we have seven zones in the house, but every zone is multiple loops. So we have about 25, 26 loops in the house, just under a mile of tubing. Wow. In this house. And so. Steve, what is this green facer that we're seeing here? What so is that's this? a full aluminum facer. It goes down into each of the grooves. And so what it basically does is we get a bunch of heat here, but it, it has the ability to spread that heat. Got Aluminum it. conducts the heat really quickly, really evenly, really well. Got it. So you can see here, so then we, we have this basically floor of aluminum that is actually spreading the heat. And then that hardwood floor touches that The hardwood floor it's touches it. the floors, which is then warming your feet. You got warm feetsies all winter long, man. God, and cool. the, the other nice thing about this is, we have a, a good example here, boom. But you can see here, the stuff's pretty easily adaptable. You know, you want to come into a closet, put a loop in. They actually have templates. They send out the router bit. Ah. Everything comes with the install. You don't have to go and you don't have to purchase. So this has been modified then. It's been modified, Got right, it. to basically -site work inside. By and the builder. They just plug in the router bit that they were given into their router. There's templates that are provided. You, you nail them down, the template is right there. And it looks really easy for the hardwood guy. Now he's gluing it and uh, stapling it because it's a wider floor. Gluing it and stapling it. We had to wait, actually, the hardwood. We've been ready here for probably about six weeks. We had to <laughs> wait for the hardwood floor because we did the moisture content to go down. Uh, August in New England, everything's taking on moisture. Right. So. We had to get that down. It's a five inch white oak, so the, the flooring association says we need to glue it and staple it, which is what we're doing here. So 
Makes it should sense. be a, a good system. And so underneath us, everywhere there's hardwood, Steve, we've got these radiant floors underneath them. And these are different zones, meaning you can control some of these rooms independently. Is that right? Yeah, they're different zones and there's different lo Gosh. loops. So like this corner of the house, I believe, is um, zone five. And mm -hmm. there's actually five different loops in zone five. Got it. And here you can see this is where they're diving down, right? Oh, okay. So, this, so, this so now this loop system. is heading back to the... Yeah, it's either heading back or coming. These are feeds. So these are, this is, you can see zone six, it's 2.7. It's coming up and feeding the room and then it drops back down. Got it. And so we've got a so basement a return system there. underneath us. So that's headed down too. Yeah, those will go back to the manifold. But uh, So what'd you start with? Uh, uh, some kind of three-quarter subfloor that was here originally on this house? Yeah, because so it's a remodel? we have three additions. So this is actually three-quarter inch at Vantech. The main house had one by floors, you know, that vintage um, floor sheathing yeah. decking that, that was uh, And so this goes day. right over top. You're putting this everywhere on the first floor. And uh, I'm assuming the carpenter is installing that. And then the plumber's coming in and dropping his tubing in and following that plan. Let's go down to the basement so we can see a little bit more of that. Let's go see the uh, mechanicals system. downstairs. We'll meet y'all in the basement. Man, this is some pretty stuff. Now, is this and all these pumps feeding our radiant? Not floor all system? of it. We have a we have almost a 2,400 square foot basement here. So, ah. and it had an existing slab. Remember, this is a remodel, so we have a bunch of baseboard in here. Okay, so these so are a lot of this radiant. is running the baseboard, and then we're running it over now. And what is this big orange box? Yeah, so the big orange box now. One of the beauties of Warmboard is they have their complete heat system. So they have their own boiler, everything set up for the system. Now, in this particular house, again, because it's a remodel, the homeowner had this existing Beesman boiler. It's only about 10 years old. He didn't really want to get rid of it. So Warmboard said, no problem. We'll modify our system and we'll work with your existing system and we'll give you a whole new plan based on using that. Yeah, because you got a beautiful, very expensive 20 plus year old Wiesman boiler that still yeah. has a decade or two or three of life right. in it. So why get rid of that? Right. And one of the problems in New England is in some of these older communities, we don't have gas in the street even. Oh. So this is an oil fired boiler. So we don't That's really right have there, isn't it? <laughs> That's yeah. our oil tank. So Looks we don't like have 300 or so gallons yeah. of uh, oil. So he was he was buying about a tank a month, and I'm guessing that it's going to be a tank for every quarter. Wow! You know, so the and place is. I'm guessing this is the heat of the or the heart of the system. I should this say. This is right? the heart. The heat this the is system. where everything gets pumped. This is where everything happens. Look at all those pipes coming in. So these are all those, you know, 300 foot or less lines that come in. You can see the guys here. They have it all labeled for us. Yeah. Zone so we have one, zones one, one and one, two. Two, 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 two. Right. And this is a home run system, I'm assuming, right? So this pipe that starts here is going up to the floor and then returning right here. Is that yes. right? Yes. And it's one complete pipe. One There's complete no pipe. splices. Got it. And it's limited to that 300 foot mark. And this Vega valve right here, this is probably some kind of solenoid valve that's all labeled zone one is tied to a thermostat upstairs In probably zone right one, right we so have when they seven say give zones, me some I more believe. heat it's going to open yeah. up these three for zone one and that's going to heat that particular bedroom or, area. Gonna, or that area a series of bedrooms or whatever and when you look at the plan actually you know we Look at that beautiful layout. We have it here. Did you produce this document? No, I, I give them the background and then they produce it. But for example, you can see the front of the house here, these three bedrooms, because they're the same orientation, these are all zone five. So uh, they're all on that same, all the same temperature. Same temperature. But you can see it's, you know, 3.6, 3.5. So there's all the different uh, zones. Got that it. are within that are different loops inside. So these of all that. have one thermostat. They're basically going to be one temperature. Exactly, and yeah. they're you know based on orientation, and and they figured out with the length of pipe. Now one of the things they had, they had it coming back to a couple closets. I nixed that in the beginning. I said we don't want any of this manifold stuff upstairs. I want a complete system downstairs. So Got it. that's where we and are. Check here. this out. They're even showing you the length of the loop: 160 feet for zone one. 195 for the second part of zone one, number three, 200. So you know that as you look at these zones, they've they've basically engineered all this. Right. Okay, so then all these, these look like eight port manifolds. You've got eight, 16, 24. 
Each one of these is gonna have a separate zone for the house. And as I said, it's a, it's a loop back. And that's probably your one pump that's pumping everything. That's the primary pump that sends everything into the manifolds and, and pushes it along the way. The mixing valve is here. It takes the supply. Okay, S for supply. That's from, coming in from, from the, the boiler, boiler, which is right here. And it takes a little bit of the return and mixes it. Because that return water, it might go out at, you know, I don't know, 90, 100, 100 degrees. And it comes back at... 80 or 75. Mm -hmm. So we use some of that energy that we previously heated. We can't use it to heat a room, but sense. we can use it to temper the temperature in the mixing valve. Man, look how pretty the plumber did too. I mean, this yeah, is some... I'd, yeah, you got to check out the back side. It's going to be hard to see you back here, but the, if, if we you got to shine your flashlight there, on it because... I mean, it is just absolutely... When a plumber takes the time to... Look how pretty that is back there, y'all. I mean, the plumber just really did a nice job back yeah, there. Yeah, these guys were... Uh, Every pipe is laid out. He's got all his supports on there. Just beautiful work. Steve, wrap us up, man. Tell us, uh, in your opinion, uh, how do the costs compare to just forced air heat? What's it like to live with? Is it worth it? Some of those kinds of things. You know, it's, it's one of those things where, and it, it's, it's really interesting because I met the, the two clients, the very first meeting we talked about, you know, things that they wanted. Bruce, the husband, I have to have radiant floors. He didn't even care if we put a roof on the house, windows in the wall. He wanted he radiant, wanted radiant floor. He wants to wake up every day and he wants to walk on a warm floor. Oh, so it's one of those things where, does it cost more? Yeah, but yeah. good things cost money. You hear me say that all yeah. the time. And if the infrastructure's nice here too. What I like about this is, you know, 50, maybe 100 years from now, this system could still be going. We'll probably have to change our boiler out. Maybe these solenoid valves will have to get changed. But, the but it's piping, all replaceable. All the infrastructure. Yeah, this isn't this isn't going anywhere for a hundred years. And, and the other thing here. is, there's nothing to get dirty. There's nothing to make noise. There's no indoor air quality issues. It's just a super comfortable, very healthy way to heat a house. Yeah, Guys, if you don't know Steve Basic, Steve is on our BuildShowNetwork.com. Every Friday, he's publishing videos from jobs like this. This is one that he's designed that he's been super involved with. So as you look around and see what's going on here. Steve's probably got a video on it. Super smart architect. I've learned so much from Steve. Go to the link in the description and sign up for the newsletter and go check out Steve's work on buildshownetwork.com. Also, Steve and I are going to make another video today on a few other aspects of this really interesting remodel. So come back for another episode. And lastly, follow Steve on Instagram. I'll put a link for his Instagram feed uh, in the description below. If you're not currently a subscriber, subscribe below. New content every Tuesday and every Friday. Big thanks to Warmboard for sponsoring today's video. Super impressive system, I gotta say. They've got it figured out. I'll have a link below to Warmboard. If you're interested in learning more from those guys, go to that link and check them out. Guys, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.